Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 15th of November 2018 and the time has just gone 12.05 GMT. This week's Chart of the Week is Silver. Taking a look here at the, at the wider view, we can see that, chill, that silver uh, has been in a pretty decent downward trend over the last number of months. Uh, between June and September we saw a classic example of a downward trend, a nice series of lower lows and lower highs. Uh, from from mid-September to mid-October, we did see a bit of a bounce back. The market was pushing higher and regained some of the ground lost over the previous months, but couldn't really, uh, didn't really have, have, have much of a bounce back. And what, what do you know? We've turned uh, lower yet again. And in fact, yesterday silver fell to a level not seen since January 2016. So, give indication of how, of, of how bearish uh, the silver the silver market currently is. And if we and if we push lower. Again, and we take out yesterday's low at 13 spot 89. We could be looking heading back down towards 13 spot 65, a level not seen since um, December 20. A level not seen since uh, December 2015. So we could be approaching um, nearly three-year lows uh, on, on silver should we actually move any lower from here. Now it is worth pointing out that um, we could we could have a have a near-term squeeze uh, in the short term. Uh, take a look at this candle here. This this candle is fairly bullish. Uh, it could be construed as a bullish engulfing. So that might actually might lead to a push higher in the near term. Uh, if we do push in higher from here, um, resistance may come into play at this blue line here, the 50 moving average, which comes into play at 14 spot 42. And if we go beyond 14 spot 42, we could be looking at targeting this area here, 15 spot 00. Now we didn't get quite as high as it. Um, in November or in October, but the area did act as both support and resistance uh, only a few months ago. And if the level has been an important metric in the past, it makes it more likely it will be an important metric in the future. And should we break beyond uh, 15 spot zero zero, that would point, that would create uh, multi-month highs, and that would that then we could become more confident that the downward, the wire downward trend is uh, is no longer in uh, is, is no longer in effect. But while we remain south of 15 spot zero zero, it's likely we could see further ground lost on silver. Um, if you're going to be trading the, the silver market, it's worth worth your while keeping an eye on the US dollar as well. The US dollar index not too long ago was at a 17 month high, and recently there's been a strong inverse relationship between the silver market and the gold market. So, so what I'm saying there is that while, while the it's no coincidence that the silver market has been weak at the same time when the when the dollar market has been strong. And if you do, if you have seen days when the dollar has pulled back, that is also on some on some occasions has acted as a boost boost to silver. If you are going to trade silver, please keep an eye out, out, out for the U.S. economic indicators. Uh, today, um, in about an hour, an hour and a half time, we have a number of important U.S. economic indicators. We have retail sales, we have the Philly Fed manufacturing, we have also the Empire State manufacturing. Um, before we finish up, if, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. And that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.